Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel here today. Hopefully, guys, day is going all well. In today's video, guys, I'm be discussing the brand new Adept AIO dashboard. This dashboard is compatible with Supreme and AIO. I'm going to do this video in one cut so you guys can actually understand how this works. There will be some minor cuts here and there to make sure I don't expose any information that's personally to me. However, I want to be showing you guys the brand new features that Adept has brought out. So let's jump straight into it. Now, guys, I'm going to be pre showing you guys all the possibilities with the brand new dashboard as well as what it looks like when you authorize an account with keys already binded to it and keys not binded to it. So firstly, let's get into when a key is not binded to it. So essentially guys, how this dashboard works is as you guys can see, it is a website. So if I wanted to click login with Discord here, it would go through Discord to go through into the dashboard. So it's Discord to get into the dashboard. I will link down below the actual dashboard if you guys want to go check it out. Now here it should say connect to Adept. Now here is essentially the place where you give access to access your username and your avatar and obviously just a minor little thing there. And once you click authorize, it will redirect you to Adept's bot's website. As you guys can see, there should be a white box on here. And here is essentially my account with my key currently binded. I have one Supreme key currently binded. Currently, if you guys look at the note, all keys are currently for Adept Supreme only. Therefore, you're only your Adept Supreme uh, like keys that are binded to your Discord will show up here. So if you go ahead and click on my key here, as you guys can see, here are the key ideas it says the key it says deactivate which the state is currently active you can unbind the key from your discord where the state is currently bound and you can transfer ownership for 10 pounds now how transferring ownership works is essentially you transfer ownership to a random email you click transfer it will say a pending payment and as soon as the payment processes it will have transferred access to that email so let's say you're selling it and you want to sell it to like a burner email on like title or something like that then you guys can go ahead and do that you guys are free to unbind as many times as you want this is your key this is your ability the dashboard has been a very very suggested thing therefore adept has gone ahead and brought it to you guys you can transfer to for 10 pound once again as many times as you want for renewal losers i know mine is currently alive time what you guys can do is you guys can actually renew your key six months at a time for a limited amount of time so let's say you buy a debt renewal and you're worried about it running out in six months and you're not having the money at that time you could like literally put 150 pound down and renew it a certain amount of times in six months selection so you could renew it for the next three years pay the money now and for the next three years you guys are covered with a debt Another cool feature about the Adept dashboard, we actually have downloads, authenticated downloads for you guys. The previous public download links are currently like currently just gone. It won't be available. So if you guys want to download from Mac, you click the Mac download, Windows for 64 or 32 bit, you guys can go ahead and do that. One very, very cool feature I like about this is the order history. According to your uh, Discord account and the keys you actually do use, whether it's AI or Supreme, we will be bringing our order history to see this product that you actually go ahead and check out based on the profiles and the tasks you guys run. Once again, guys, you guys can add multiple keys. Once AIO does release, I probably will have an AIO copy on here and a lifetime copy on here. And also, this is a good way to check if you actually do have any spare keys banned to your Discord before you actually do go ahead and sell them. So, guys, I think that concludes today's video. If you guys did enjoy, please drop a like. If you guys have any questions, by all means, let the, let me know down below and I will answer your guys' questions as fast as I can. This is a pretty self-explanatory uh, dashboard. It's pretty simple, pretty unique. I like the background. It's pretty sleek. Overall, I give it a good review. I'm not just saying that because I'm on the support team. I'm actually just saying that because this is a very, very nice looking dashboard. It has some really cool features and some very cool features coming soon. I'm going to catch you guys next time.